For the new mirror operation function, we can see here we have three operations activated on this project. We're looking at the operations, whether the auto rebuild is activated, because this will be influenced when we do the mirroring, so it would automatically rebuild. On the morphing operation, we're going to just check, we can see the cutting direction, we will see reversed when we mirror the toolpath itself. Okay, so everything will be maintained when we do the mirroring function. So what we'll do is we'll highlight either individual or groups of operations. So I'm taking all three from the right hand mouse, transform and select the mirror. We're going to pick the mirroring point and then you can pick the mirroring axis. And this can be either the X or the Y, with or without a copy. It could be a 3D copy around the Z as well. So you have the flexibility to be able to pick which mirroring method you want to use. So we're going to pick up with a copy about the Y axis. We're going to confirm with the right mouse and it will actually do the mirroring. So if the auto rebuild was active, it would automatically rebuild the mirrored toolpath and the icon changes at the beginning of the toolpath to indicate that it's mirrored operation. So we can see now that we've got the mirror of the toolpath and what it does, it mirrors the toolpath itself and the geometry is then kept in the original position but you would normally have to mirror the, the piece manually to be able to see this. And as you can see when we've rebuilt the operation, when I did it on the morphed operation, we rebuilt the cutting direction is then maintained so it's necessary to be able to uh, mirror the toolpath but also to rebuild to be able to maintain that cutting direction so what I've done here is I've actually mirrored the piece as well and we're just going to look on this so if you want to see it you will pick the new piece that we've chosen the mirrored toolpath piece to check the kinematics correctly so we're going to put the displacement in just so we can see this in the kinematics. We're just going to go through this so we can see the mirrored operation correctly. So as you can see here, we didn't bother mirroring the, uh, the stock. So this was the original set of toolpaths on the original piece with the original stock. We can see the cutting direction on the last operation. So this is now on the mirrored toolpath. And when we see this, we can check to give you the right results. So if you also want to mirror the toolpath back, you can take the toolpath without a copy. And if you take it back or take any of the toolpaths back, you then get them back to the original toolpath state if necessary. Okay. So what we did is we mirrored it without a copy or if you forgot to mirror it without the copy. So you can take the toolpath back, pick the axis again. So when you mirror back to the original state, it will then give you back to the original toolpath, which is then editable. We also have the functionality to be able to mirror projects. So in this case, I've got projects, which is machining from each direction. So we've got the piece, we've got some rest roughing operations to machine from the side. And then we've got some machining onto the sides of this piece, onto each one of the sides. And we're going to take the, everything inside of here and we're going to mirror the complete toolpath. The important thing to say here is that when you do mirror the toolpath, anything that is a reference geometry you saw for a rest roughing operation, it will take everything related to that as well. So it will take the rest machining operations, any rest stock that's been used for the um, for the parent toolpath will also be mirrored. So we've just done have a little look here to have a look at the, the toolpaths themselves. We're going to take the full project. So from project level right mouse we can transform and we can mirror the project. We have the same functionality so you can mirror with or without a copy around an axis and as soon as the project is mirrored, you get a copy and the name of the project will have mirror in the title to indicate that it's a mirrored project. But the subsequent operations in that mirrored project will also have icon changes 
at the beginning of the toolpath to show you that it's a mirrored toolpath itself. So we can see here that it's mirrored 2D, 3D, 5 axis operations, auto tilting. So when we did the mirror of the auto tilting toolpath, everything has been taken up correctly to be able to mirror everything.